The family of slain 19 year old Marlene Ochoa arrived in Chicago from Mexico yesterday to lay their murdered mother to rest. And as they grapple with their loss, the investigation into her death continues this morning. The Jam's Deanna Gutierrez is live in Oak Lawn. Deanna, what's the latest? That family just arrived with uh, 20 day humanitarian visas. Now they came to pay their last respects to their loved one. And they also came to meet and say hello to a baby boy who's hanging on to his life. But still, they have so many questions as to what exactly happened here at this hospital. Right now we know the Illinois Department of Public Health is now investigating how Advocate Christ Medical Center handled the Ochoa Lopez case. Court documents say on April 23rd, the same day that Clarissa Figueroa and her daughter Desiree allegedly murdered Marlene and cut her baby out of her womb, Clarissa arrived here saying she had just given birth. Now while she was in the labor and delivery unit, doctors examined her but found no signs of a woman who had just given birth. Clarissa had blood on her arms, hands and face, but court documents show that blood was of Marlene's and was cleaned off by the OB technician who treated her. Family and friends say their biggest frustration is that none of this was ever reported. Kara Smith, chief policy officer for the Cook County Sheriff's Office, says they're not investigating Christ Hospital at the moment. Instead, she says the Sheriff's Office will discuss with the Department of Children and Family Services to see if there were mandated reporting irregularities that happened. Of course, Christ Hospital shares condolences with the family but is unable to share any updates on the investigation because of patient privacy laws. But they are, however, cooperating with local police. I'm live in Oakland this morning. Diana Gutierrez, The Jam.